Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Chilly morning here in Southwest Florida. Temperature's right around 50. A little breeze blowing out here, so it's making it feel like it's in the 40s. just offshore of the beach at the north end of area one standing out on the sandbar here still seeing a few colors of the sunrise out there in the Gulf good news is there's no red tide no red tide beautiful out here below my feet below me here at my feet shall I say should I say quite a few of the little sand dollars quite a few little sand dollars out here little baby sand dollars Those are always fun to collect. Just make sure they're not alive. These are dead. And we have low tides here. These are pretty abundant, the little sand dollars. As you can see, there's, whoops. They're really fragile when they're, as they get older all over a couple there there's another one down here there's a bigger one I think over here yeah there's a nice one here and it's got a couple a little chipped up on the edge but it's usually pretty easy to find these during low tide if you walk out onto one of the sandbars here. It seems this one down in the north, the south end, down in area one, they seem to be more than up in the north end though. Ooh, it is chilly. That wind blowing, like I said, it's right about 50, but with that wind blowing, it feels like it's in the 40s right now. See a couple cockle shells out here. Live cockles. Here's one down here. A good size one. A good size live cockle. That is a nice size cockle shell. The cockle heart when you turn it on its side, on its end. A live cockle. He's tucked in there because of the cold. <laughs> it's not uncommon to see those cockle shells out here on the sandbars either at low tide. There's a, a smaller one right down here. He's just kind of crawling around on the sandbar. Oh, and there's another one over here. Another little cockle. More sand dollars. Again, the good news is there's no red tide. No red tide. The tide is on its way in here. When I walked out here just a few minutes ago, this was dry right here in front of me. Now you can see the water is already coming up. It's 
starting to come up to the shore here. There's another big cockle shell down here. Another live cockle. Same blowing bubbles there. He's cold. <laughs> There's that cockle heart again. That is so cool. When you turn them on their side, you see that neat heart. Well, I got shoes on this morning. So I gotta get across here. I don't wanna get soaking wet. Get back to shore here to dry land. Well, quite a few little cockles out here. Here's another one. There's a little baby cockle. And we'll take a little walk up the beach here. See what we can find, see what maybe swims by. Well, it was really nice the other day. Tuesday, we got to see some dolphins. That was nice, great sight, a welcome sight. Got an off, an offshore breeze, which is a good thing today. More offshore than onshore. Hopefully that will keep the red tide at bay. Not smelling anything out here, no problems. Not smelling any red tide. My eyes aren't itchy or burning. Gonna be cool though today. A good beach day for the snowbirds, not the Floridians. <laughs> it's cold for me. I'm already looking forward to getting home and hitting that hot shower. <laughs> Oh, what else? Uh, some fighting conks out here. Here's a little fighting conch. We usually see these just about every beach walk. The little Florida fighting conks. That's the boardwalk up at the north end of Area 2 over here. I wish that sun would hurry up and come up over the trees and warm the beach up. We got down here. Do I see a little moon shell already this morning? Yes, I do. A little shark eye. A little moon shell. Cool. A little chipped up here on the edge. Still a nice little shell that does hard to see without the light. It does look like this is one of the blue eyes. They call it a Paul Newman when it's blue in the middle like that. That's cool. 
Boy, lots and lots of worm shells again out here. Man, they are everywhere. Peaceful out here this morning, really, really peaceful. The waves breaking on the sandbar out here. We got a few people out here at the beach already this morning. Some brave souls, a lot of our runners, our regulars here, out jogging in their shorts. <laughs> Me, I'm all bundled up in a jacket and blue jeans. Got a pair of shoes on. No flip-flops or bare feet. I'm not seeing a whole lot of shells along the beach here this morning. Again, it's pretty, and the beach has been pretty swept clean by the tide changes. Darn it. You can see the high tide came all the way up to the trees, just about to the base of that tree there. Right up to there is where the high tide came. We had a pretty good high tide the other night. The tide's on its way in now. The next high tide's gonna be a little before one, one o'clock this afternoon. There's two runners heading up the beach. <laughs> More power to them. Ugh, chilly. Chilly, chilly, chilly. Beautiful morning, though. Boy, beautiful, beautiful clear blue sky this morning. Look at that. I haven't seen any ospreys in the trees yet. A gorgeous clear blue sky this morning. Coming up to one of our spots where we'd, we would find a lot of shells. But it looks pretty empty right now. This little spot right here in front of me, I have had some fantastic shelling right in here. Something about the way the tide reacts with the shore just would dump tons of shells in here, but I'm not seeing any right now. found piles of moon shells and murex shells in here. I don't know if you can see down here, but there's these little depressions in the sandbar and there's one right here. If you come out here and look, you're liable to find something really nice gets caught in there. Some nice shells get caught in these little depressions. I was out walking the beach one day and I uh, saw a young lady. She picked up a really nice horse conch shell from one of those little depressions. 
but this morning, eh, not seeing much of anything. Very strange. Yeah, it seems like the shelling just comes in cycles, the good shelling. All along here, all in these ridges, we I would find some really neat stuff caught up. See these little ridges here in the sand? We were finding lots of great little shells in these ridges about a week ago. But not this morning, huh? Well, come on, dolphins, where you at? While I'm out here on the sandbar, it'd be a great time for one of you to come by. For hundreds of you to come by. <laughs> the more the merrier. No red tide. Again, no red tide. Looking good out here. Looking good. Beautiful as we look up to the north and then out to the east. Down the beach. Gorgeous, gorgeous clear blue sky. The sun just popping up over the trees. Beautiful as we look down to the south. Loving it out here this morning, other than the temperature. <laughs> it's gonna slowly warm up though. I don't know what the high is gonna be today. Look at you all bundled up. Yes, I, I thought you're used to this stuff. I am. <laughs> <laughs> One of our northern friends, and she's bundled up, so you know it's got to be cold out here. A lot of our Friends that have moved down from up north here and have become full-time residents. It takes a couple, three years for your blood to thin out. And then you start getting cold, just like the rest of us Floridians. Once that temperature drops below 50, that's cold for us. There's actually some people out here shelling this morning. So 
far, all I found so that I picked up was a moon shell. We saw some sand dollars out at the at the beginning of our beach walk. Some sand dollars and some cockle shells out on one of the sandbars down in area one. But other than that, no big prizes yet, no treasures, no more treasures to take home. Not much of anything around here this morning. One of our little slipper shells. I mean, when I say not much of anything, not much of the things that I like to collect. I'm seeing a lot of our normal, regular shells. Slipper, like these little slipper shells. Little slippers. And lots of little worm tips. Lots of clam shells and mossy arcs. Alright, I keep I forget what these are called. What are these shells called? It's me post in the comments the name of this shell here. Ah, some nice warm sunshine out here. I love it. What a difference the sun makes. Kicks it up probably six, seven degrees at least. If you're just tuning in, no red tide. No red tide here at Del Norwegans. We're in good shape right now. So an old lightning whelk down here. Chipped up lightning whelk. What's left of a lightning whelk? How are you doing? Good. You can see I'm not the only one with the jacket on and long pants this morning. I almost didn't come out here this morning. Another sand dollar up here. I 
Nice little sand dollar. Covered in sand. Beautiful. There's Roy's Beach over there under those pine trees. Roy Hazi, the mayor of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. <laughs> He wasn't doing so good the other day. His legs were swelled up. And his nurse is keeping a close eye on him. Keep Roy in your thoughts and prayers. Our good friend, 93-year-old Roy, always had some good stories to share with me here during my morning beach walks. He's gonna make it back, he'll be back. Lots of shells up here at the high tide line. Boy, probably some interesting things along here. You can never find them all, that's for sure. No matter how much you look, you're gonna miss something. Piece of a murex down there half of a murex shell or a, yeah half of a lace murex it's almost like it was sliced in half there good morning how are you doing chilly 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 morning everybody out here and they with their jackets on <laughs> it's probably about 53 now but the problem is that wind when it comes through whoop, makes it feel a lot colder right now out here in the Sun it's not so bad but back in the shade big difference any dolphins go by yet never know what their schedule is out here
looking to the north there, towards Benita. Nice and clear out here this morning, that's for darn sure. Nice and clear. Zoom in here. No problem seeing the condos up in Estero, the Fort Myers Beach. Nice clear view this morning. And the good news is there's no red tide. Look at that sky. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Just a little, another little Murex shell. An old Murex. Looks like an old apple Murex. It's actually got a barnacle growing on it there or something. <laughs> That's an old little apple Murex. There's a little lightning whelk down there. Piece of a lightning whelk. What's left of it? A little cockle down here on the beach, a live cockle shell. A little baby. You saw. Quite a few of these out on the sandbar earlier this morning, these live little cockles. So neat. I love showing people that. Turn it on its side and you use your imagination. You can see a heart there when you turn it on its end. Can you see the heart? find anything to take home here today. It's been pretty slim pickings out here as far as the shells go. Lots of broken stuff. Another lightning whelk. It's kind of chipped up along the edges though. But I'll keep it. I'm getting desperate. <laughs> Another little cockle down here. If you enjoy these beach walks, don't forget to hit the share button. Tell your friends. It's a pretty brisk morning down here in Southwest Florida today. Beautiful though, I mean, clear blue skies. 
far as we can see here, just beautiful, beautiful clear blue sky this morning. Starting to warm up now that the sun's coming up. Look at that sky. Crystal clear all the way around. Clear blue. broken whelk shells on the beach, a lot of broken lightning whelks. A lot of little conch shells. Mostly all the usual. Good morning, how you doing? So far so good. <laughs> skunked up here nothing come on one nice little shell one nice little souvenir for the morning <laughs> just striking out With all that wave action we've been having, there'd be tons of shells out on the beach this morning. That's why I came out. Old, there's an old faded out cone shell. Lost all its color, an old alphabet cone. You can barely see some of the markings on it. Usually these are yellow and white. Yellow markings, a white shell. That's an old faded alphabet poem. I missed something while I was walking up here. Maybe we'll find something on the way back. Just never know. With every little wave that rolls up on the beach comes something new. Quite a few cockles, quite a few cockles out here this morning. This is a nice little empty cockle shell here, an empty shell. Here's another empty one. Two empties, I can tell by the weight. Two nice little cockles. This one, the smaller one, it's got some barnacles growing on it. Two nice little cockles, whole cockle shells. See, nothing inside of them. Those will make nice little souvenirs for somebody. Oh man, I was going to turn around and start walking back. I'm glad I didn't. I hope I'm glad I didn't. Look at this. 
Oh, it's got a hole in it. Look at the size of that moon shell. Wow, it was laying like that, and I'm like, oh man, that's a big one. I'm gonna keep it though, even though it's got that hole. That is a good sized shell right there. Nice big moony. Shark eye, moon shell. And right next to it, two little baby shells. Come on. Hang on a second here. There we go. I'm gonna reset the gimbal. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have done that. I procrastinated. And the two little shells that I was gonna pick up. A wave. Came and got them. Uh, well, I got them. Hang on. A little paper fig and a little baby shark eye. A little baby paper fig shell. Hang on, I gotta readjust my gimbal. Stand by. It's just, there we go. It's not following me. So there, a little shark eye and a little paper fig. Two little baby shells. Right next to that big moon shell I was just showing you. How cool is that? What else? Anything else up here before I turn around? The tide is slowly coming in here. All right, I'm gonna spin around here. Normally I can't walk up here. The beach is underwater when the tide's up. But we had a little beach here, so I went a little further north into area five. I'm gonna walk back. See if we missed anything. Never know, maybe a dolphin will pop up. One or two dolphins. love seeing those dolphins we did see some dolphins Tuesday morning that was great a very very welcome sight seeing the dolphins nice little shell there not exactly sure what it is nice little one yeah it does have a chip in the side there a little chip Still a little keeper. They don't have to be big. People watching this morning. Thursday morning. Following President Bush's memorial on the news. Great man. Our late president.
I'm looking for something here, believe me. I'm keeping my eyes open. Just not seeing much of anything here. There's a, what's left? A big old scallop shell. Not much left of it though. Lots of these little cockles on the beach this morning. Lots of them. These are live. Come on, camera. These two little cockles are alive. See quite a few of these on the beach this morning. As the tide comes up, they'll be pulled back into the water. We've lost a lot of beach up here. A lot. Give you an idea how much we lost. You see this old tree stump here? That used to be buried in the sand. It's, that was, oh, come on, this gimbal is not working. See, that, here it is, the tree stump here. That used to be buried in the sand. Probably a good foot of sand on top of that, if not more. So you can see we have lost a lot of beach here at Del Norwegans. We took a pounding, started with Hurricane Irma, and we had some big storms. Hurricane Irma in 2017. Lost away a lot of our beach. And it just has been continuing. Hurricane Michael. Not too long ago. Same problem. All that, that was 250 miles out in the Gulf. 250 miles away from me. Wreaked havoc on our shoreline. There are quite a lot of little cockle shells along the edge of the water here right now. Quite a few of them. I did find a couple nice empty cockle shells. Piece of lightning whelk there. Busted up. A broken lightning whelk. We find lots of broken shells here. The waves really tear them up. There's another one. This looks like, yeah, another broken lightning whelk. Seeing, I'm just amazed at how many of these little cockles, these little tiny cockle shells I've been seeing on the beach this morning. Lots of them. Lots and lots. Started out here, it was about 50 degrees this morning when I started. Pretty breezy. I was feeling like it was in the 40s. I almost didn't come out here this morning. But I missed yesterday, so I figured I needed a beach fix, and so did some of our friends here. So I came out and braved the cold. Walking the beach in my jacket and blue jeans. <laughs> but now that that sun's popping up, it's definitely starting to warm up. It's starting to get a lot nicer. Just incredible, the blue sky here today. Absolutely beautiful. Here's is this 
this one? I don't know. There's two pieces of a fig here. I'm wondering if that's two broken paper figs or two separate ones. Huh. Two pieces of a paper fig shell. Those are really thin. You can see how you can see the light right through them. They're translucent there. Very, very fragile shells. I've also been seeing lots of worm shells on the beach. Lots of little worm shells. All right, for some, this gimbal is just fizzling out on me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there's some worm shells and there's a little old crown conch there. A couple of worm shells and a little kind of old and faded crown conch. seen any dolphins swim by. I haven't been keeping a close eye out there in the Gulf. They're out there though. Despite what all the naysayers say, all the negative people. No red tide here this morning. Really nice. Got an offshore, little offshore breeze blowing. Just what we need to keep that red tide at bay, blow it out into the Gulf. Incredibly beautiful morning today. Thursday morning at Del Norwigans Pass State Park in North Naples. Clear blue sky as far as the eye can see this morning. Beautiful sky and beautiful water right now. Any luck? Any luck? No. Wow. Where's your helper? No 
Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't blame her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you find one? Oh, the sand dollar? Yeah, they're, that's a nice one. They're, they're up high on the beach, too. Which won't be here in another few hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of these guys. Yeah, bigger ones, too. Yeah, yeah. And they're usually in this area right here. They're pretty. Yeah, they are. At least they're not one. That one's not alive. So. Right, yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, a lot of these just... People make sure they're dead before you take yeah. them home. Yep. Sadly, I'm, the red tide, I'm pretty sure, killed these too. Yep. There's a, take it easy. Nice little sand dollar there. This is up in area four. And they're kind of, if you look close, you'll find them out on this whole area before the tide comes up here. This will be underwater as the tide comes in. You can find some little sand dollars like this it out in the sun and bleach them out and turn white. I've seen quite a few sand dollars this morning. Took a little walk out onto one of the sandbars this morning when we first started. Saw some little baby ones. But the good news today is no red tide. That's the good news for this morning. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, as many of you know, I don't get paid to come out here and do this. I love doing it. I love keeping everybody updated on what's going on here with the water conditions. That's the main reason why it's company informed of what's going on just in our little neck of the woods here in North Naples. I also enjoy bringing everybody together on social media. I love seeing people commenting back and forth with each other. It's great, the little conversations that go on. If anybody wants to make a little contribution or something, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. It goes towards paying the phone bill and other little things, and especially around the holidays, every little bit helps. So if you want to make a little donation, I appreciate it. To those that have, thank you. You can always find my a link to my PayPal account included in the description of these posts. Look at that sky. Look at that sky this morning. It's gorgeous. This is looking up to the north. Area 4 Beach in El Norwegian's Pass State. The sky all around. All around.
tide is a lot higher than it was when we started this morning. High tides around 12.30 today. But it's made its way up the beach quite a bit this morning since we started. What's she filming? What are you taking a picture of? What did you find? Oh, the coquinas. So in the coquinas. When they bury. Isn't down. that something they watching them? If you stand, you can feel them on your feet. It's, oh, really? It's really horrible. <laughs> Look at them all. Lots. These are little coquina shells down here. And they just slowly bury themselves into the sand. They come up. Oh, they're looking at them the all out here. Yeah, when the water goes back, they come yep. up. And then they go down when the water There's piles of them out here. <laughs> yeah. war the water feels nice and warm, doesn't it? My feet are cold. Yeah, <laughs> it feels good in the water. <laughs> I'm getting a foot massage. There you go, a the foot massage. <laughs> yeah, I know, it just put me out when I realized what was happening. <laughs> December 20th. Will you say happy birthday from Rona on the beach? Jeez. Because um, I go home on Monday. And oh I'm, no. I'm away for Christmas and New Year and I'm back in January. I will. So I'll tell say, her. say happy birthday and I hope to see him on the beach in the New hopefully, Year. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. When will you be back? About the 11th of January. Okay, maybe he'll be back by then. Yeah. That'll be great. Yeah. All right. If I don't see you before that, have a safe trip. I'm, yeah. I'm sure I'll see you. Okay. Loving it out here. Starting to warm up nicely here. Started out on the cool side this morning. Now it's really turning around here. Loving it. This lovely view. I love that blue sky. The blue sky, the green trees. God's canvas right there. Just gorgeous. The, sh uh, the shadows on the beach. I love all of it. Even if we don't find a lot of shells or see any dolphins, it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful. Just being able to come out here and enjoy this splendor. However, finding some nice shells and seeing the dolphins is a great bonus. I'm surprised the dolphins didn't swim by this morning. I'm surprised. They might have, and I might have missed them. That happens. Sometimes I'll miss them swimming by, especially if they're not jumping up high out of the water. Today, though, right now, if they did go by, they'd be staying offshore. The water's just real shallow here with the tide being out earlier though this morning Walking out here, this was all a sandbar. No water out here. Now the water is covering up the sandbar. You can find some great stuff 
a lot of times out on those sandbars. Not as much as we could find a couple years ago. Sadly, the red tide has destroyed a lot of our sea life out here. I have not seen any sea stars. We used to find sea stars by the hundreds out here on the beach and out in the water. I haven't seen any, any sea stars. I haven't seen any live sand dollars out here. That red tide is really, really taking its toll on our marine life. Thankfully, it's not here today at the beach. No red tide. No dead dolphins on the beach. Ugh, that was a horrible sight. No dead fish. Beautiful though when you look out there. Very relaxing. Right in this area where I'm at, this is where the dolphins have been coming in closer to shore. The water is a little deeper. And when the tide's higher, there's quite a few fish right up in this area, right just offshore of the beach, right up in here. And the dolphins will come right up close to the beach here. But as I said, the tide's just too low right now. If a dolphin comes by, it's going to be offshore. I have not seen any. But I have not been keeping a vigil eye out there for them either. So, they might have came by. Sometimes you'll just see their dorsal fin will stick up out of the water and that's about it. Look them up, take a breath and go back under. Other mornings they put on a quite a little show for us. really pretty calm out there in the Gulf. Well, actually, when I look out on the horizon, yeah, it might not be that calm out there. Let me see if I can zoom in. It might look flat in the camera. And no, uh, you can see the waves out there on the horizon. Having a hard time focusing way out there. You can kind of see the waves out there on the horizon. Look up the beach here, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I hope you enjoyed this morning's little beach walk. 
Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. If you want to make a little contribution, every little bit helps. I hope you enjoy this little service I'm providing. Some entertainment, hopefully some relaxation. Hopefully you made some new friends on Facebook. If you're thinking about coming out to the beach today here to Del Nor Wiggins, I hope I help you make your decision whether or not to come out or not. Whether to come out or not. <laughs> the good news, no red tide. One last time, no red tide out here. Some cooler weather, some beautiful, beautiful clear blue sky all around. Well, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Thursday, wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.